Hi, uh, this is uh, Dr. Rajendra Kumar, uh, consultant neurologist at uh, Ritpika Hospitals, Guntur. Yeah, today is a uh, National Epilepsy Day uh, that has been uh, uh, going on today uh, since morning. Uh, this that's more about uh, public awareness uh, regarding the regarding the seizures, how they are getting generated, and uh, what we are supposed to do, and uh, and 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 about all the medications and social awareness about that and uh, yeah that's very important uh, regard to the public as well and then coming to the topic uh, that's uh, regarding the uh, recording of uh, eeg and the medications that we used so coming to the recording of eeg uh, we are now using mainly the digital eegs that's very important because uh, uh, with the uh, digital ages, uh, with the different montages, we can uh, we can adjust uh, uh, based on the type of the seizure. And uh, if you record the EEG, and we can get the good uh, uh, good yield by doing the digital EEG with the different montages. That's uh, important. And second thing is uh, by, by recording consistently, we can make out uh, uh, seizure yield better and also the focus of the seizure from where it is coming. Uh, sometimes what will happen is the seizures will get uh, more precipitated even in sleep. So it is better to record this uh, EEG both in the awake period and during the sleep time. So uh, that will help you to, uh, that will yield the diagnosis much better than doing just for a small period of time. And also recording the EEG as early as possible or during the time of the seizure uh, within just one day of the season, there will be much, uh, much yield. Yield it has an yield more than uh, doing after two days or three days. Though it has some importance, we can pick up some interactive forms, uh, but recording as early as possible is much better. And then uh, coming to the different, uh, import, different uh, points, uh, we can make out the say, whether it, uh, correlate with the semiology of the season with the focus uh, from where it is coming. So uh, we can, with this, we can also make out whether the patient is uh, uh, having a pseudo seizure or a real seizure also. Uh, that is one thing we can easily make out. And other thing is we can also able to differentiate whether uh, whether the seizure is from a genetic epilepsy or from the uh, or is an acquired epilepsy. So because with the EEG there will be a lot of uh, differences uh, in the recording. There will be uh, background changes will be there. Uh, the spike loads will be different, and uh, and even the uh, sleep pattern will be different in case of genetic epilepsy. So all these differences we can make out uh, only by recording. If you record it more, it will be much better. Uh, uh, sometimes we, we usually normally record for uh, 20 to 30 minutes because of the uh, patient comfort and all those things. But if you record it for more than uh, six hours, 24 hours, even some people they record it for 48 hours to get the more yield during the and record better. And then we relate focus, uh, relate the uh, relate the seizure focus and then to the MRI. And then and then based on that, we can what what type of seizure uh, we have to correlate. And uh, and the same and the based on this is uh, whether it is coming from the uh, uh, focal side or is it a focal seizure it is becoming secondary generalized, so or is it is a generalized seizure so based on that the treatment also varies a uh, little bit, so uh, that is what we can make out, and also we can make out uh, if somebody is on treatment and then still the seizures are going on that's what we call it as a resistant epilepsy. Uh, some some amount of pattern of uh, uh, discharges we can make out and can feel that you know there is a there is some some resistance uh, in the uh, to the amount of medicines we are giving. Okay, these are the some of the advantages uh, we can do uh, we can get by recording the EEG and the medications uh, we need to utilize uh, according to the uh, according to the type of the seizure. So if it is a genetic seizure, we have to give uh, some form of uh, medicine. And if it is an acquired epilepsy, uh, we have to find out the cause and then we have to go according to what is the etiology of that. And if it is a, a focal seizures, then the, the variation with the treatment is varies based on one drug and then still not, re not responding, then we have to go the second line of focal, focal second line of drug to the focal epilepsy. So like that, uh, this this e recording the EEG will be helpful even for the medications also. Okay, yeah, thank you.